How to buy a house in a seller's market? That seems to be a question on everyone's mind, particularly those that are looking to buy their next house or buy their next investment property. Considering the media coverage of all the bidding wars going on, a lot of people are very concerned that they're going to get priced out of the market and will never be able to buy. If you feel powerless as a buyer in today's market, I'm gonna give you a strategy that can save you a bunch of time and minimize your effort. Buying a house in a seller's market can feel like a real challenge. And it typically is if you go about it in the same way everybody else is. I mean, if you do what everybody else does, you're gonna get what everybody else is getting. A lot of rejection and a lot of frustration. But today, I'm gonna give you a strategy that can give you a very different result. One that would be more favorable. First of all, what do they mean when they say it's a seller's market? Well, a seller's market is when there are more buyers in the market than there are houses for sale. Therefore, the seller gets to choose which buyer they want, leaving buyers to compete against each other. And we know when you're competing to buy something, what that does is it drives the price up. And that's exactly what we're seeing in the market right now. The problem is when a property comes on to the market for sale, all of the buyers rush and they submit their offers and it inadvertently creates a bidding war. I mean, if you've been out in the market and you can relate, let me know down below in the comments and type in, I can relate. And so this is how most people do it. They'll call up their real estate agent. The real estate agent will come by and pick them up. Then they'll go out and they'll shop for houses. They'll look at this one, they'll look at this one, they'll look at this one, they'll decide that, hey, I like this one, and so they'll submit an offer on that one. Then customarily, they'll get a counter offer from the seller, and they'll notice that there are multiple offers on this house. So to compete, they're gonna have to start lowering their standards, they might have to raise their price, they're gonna have to start making some concessions, they're gonna be removing contingencies, they might have to remove the appraisal contingency, perhaps even the loan contingency. And ultimately what that means is the seller is in control. And I hear it all the time. People are saying, hey, the seller made me do this and then I had to do this and I had to raise my price to this and everyone is really, really frustrated in the market right now. Now, as a buyer in today's market, you're not completely powerless. I'm gonna give you a strategy of how you can effectively compete and ultimately win. But before I do, please take a second to click the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Because I post cool money-making stuff like this each and every week and if you like making money, you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, so the alternate approach, rather than going out and shopping for individual houses and then submitting an offer and waiting for the seller to get back to you, there's another way that you can do this. You can play your own game too. So try this, go to Zillow, go to Redfin, or maybe just deal directly with your real estate agent and look for multiple properties that would fit your criteria. And then write multiple offers all in one day. Submit those offers sight unseen. And then wait for the counter offers. And then you can go back and forth with the negotiations on multiple properties. This way you're not directly tied to any one property and you have more chances of actually getting your offer accepted. Now, if this sounds a little scary to you, understand in the contract, you are allowed to cancel. The law says buyer beware, and the contract gives you that right to look and inspect properties before you actually make your final decision, send in your money, and close the deal. So per the contract, you're gonna have a designated time to conduct this inspection. And if you don't like it, cancel it. And if you do, now you'd want to order your physical inspection and then follow through. The sellers play their game, you can play yours too. So when it comes to real estate, and you might have heard this before, it's all about location, location, location. You've heard that, right? Well, when it comes to real estate investing, it's all about offers, offers, offers. And that's exactly what I did in my personal life when I was shopping for my primary residence, is I incorporated this real estate investing strategy into my home buying strategy. You see, I just moved from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. I did that about two years ago. My wife and I, we decided to rent for two years first just to make sure that we liked it, and we did. And so our lease came up and it was time for us to go out and look for a new home. And we knew what the market was like. We knew what the conditions were. We knew we we're gonna have to play this game. But uh, we went about it looking for the actual dream home first, one at a time like everybody else was doing. And sure enough, we found our house, we submitted our offer, and we ended up in a bidding war. We tried it one more time, same thing happened. So I was like, stop, this is what we're gonna do. The same way we buy our investment properties, we're gonna go about buying our primary residence, our dream home, in the exact same way. So we went out and we found 10 homes that fit our criteria. We told our real estate agent, submit all 10 of these offers in one day, and we did. And then we sat back and we waited for the counter offers to come in. And four of them did. We countered back all four of those. Two of those ultimately ended up selling to somebody else, but there were two left for us. And back and forth a couple times, and we got both of those offers accepted. Now, we went to physically look at those houses, and then we picked the one that we liked best. And so we went into contract, 
and proceeded with the one that we liked and we canceled the other. So the bottom line is, if you want to buy a house, this is the market you're going to experience for a while. The sellers are in control. They're playing their games, we get to play our games. That's how it's working right now. Now keep in mind, this is the game to play if you're ready to buy today. So once you've made that decision and you've made your commitment that you are absolutely gonna buy a house and you want to buy it now, go ahead and submit those multiple offers. That's the game that we gotta play as buyers. We can play our game or we're gonna be forced to play the seller's game. Now, if that still feels a little uncomfortable to you, I understand, it's not for everybody. There is an option though that I think you're gonna like. If you'd like to find reasonable properties at reasonable prices, it might make sense for you to look for properties off market. And I talk about doing that quite a bit here. And these strategies, they are timeless. They've been done forever. You just have to know about them and how to implement them. And to help you out, I've already created a video on this on how to go through this step-by-step -step on how to specifically find off-market properties. You can find a link to that video down below in the description.